So I just hope you're doing good and enjoying your life. Uh, today I'm going to talk about. Uh, so before starting that, if you have not subscribed the channel, uh, this Alien Tech Champion, please like and subscribe channel. In this channel, actually, we just uh, making video on how you can manage your endpoints, whether it's mobile devices, Windows 10, or or Mac operating system, or iOS and Android devices through Microsoft Endpoint Manager. So today, uh, in in my last video, I have shown you how you can set up. Um, uh, I will show you. Uh, so you can. Uh, I have I have made some video how you can set up the Intune tenant, and then how you can configure uh, all these prerequisites uh, before configuring for any organizations, right? So <coughs> so. Today, I, in this video, actually, um, I will show you how you can manage iPhone and iPad uh, with securely uh, to the company data. So, as an Intune admin, right? So, you, you can set up the enrollment for iOS and iPad devices to access the company resources. Uh, and you can also let the users to enroll personal own devices, which is actually known as a bring your own devices BYD enrollment site. Right? So, uh, so, so there are free prerequisites here, uh, which is actually mentioned. So make sure your device are supported. Of course, you can check it. Uh, what are the uh, Intune? What are the devices actually supporting? So Intune supported all three, all four operating system. And for Apple iOS devices, you see you, your devices need to be iOS 14 and later, and for iPad 14 and later as well, right? <laughs> So this is the first requirement and prerequisites to enroll any iPad or iOS devices into Intune and then set up Intune uh, as well. So these steps actually mm, uh, for set up your infrastructure in particular device requires MDM authority, which I have shown in my video. You can go to my channel and, and see that, right? And then Apple, get the Apple MDM push certificates. This, this re certificates required to enable MDM uh, management of uh, iOS and Mac devices. So I have also made um, how you can get the Apple MDM push not certificates from the Apple server. I have made some video you can go through uh, and watch the video, right? So uh, you see uh, there are f there are two type of uh, you know right we we all one is bring your own devices one is company own devices. So most most uh, nowadays actually bring your own uh, adoption is actually quite um, famous and becoming uh, and and bring your own own devices actually they are providing three options to enrolling the users one one is app protection policy which will, which actually gives you highlight of uh, the BYD experience so. So if this app protection policies, which is called MAM mobile application management protection. So in this method, we are just protecting Intune will protect only the data at the app level. It will not, uh, it will not uh, ask you to enroll the devices into Intune. Uh, you just, uh, you, uh, your data will be protected, but it will be unmanaged, right? So this, this feature is actually only available, um, uh, in 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 the Microsoft Intune, if you want to use this MAM app protection policy feature with any of the EMM solutions, MDM solutions like VMware Workspace One or any, you need to use you you'll need to have the Microsoft Intune license as well. So uh, people are thinking that instead of going to the uh, using if if you if you have the requirement to use this feature, uh, then instead of using another solutions use that Microsoft Intune right and this is actually provide um, a user uh, this is actually provide a based user experience for BYD and and for the IT admin as well without managing the bring personal devices user personal devices there is other method is user enrollment is more streamlined enrollment process which provide admins with a subset of devices management option this feature is currently in preview and uh, and and 
in this method actually user enrollment method user have to just go to the download the Intune company portal and app app store and follow the enrollment instructions and we can customize the company portal as well as uh, how you can customize the Intune uh, company portal uh, here is the link if you open that and it will uh, show you how you can customize all the enrollment okay uh, for the company on most probably a company on um, we are, as admin we are managing for organization that buy the devices for the users I mean for their employer in tune support the following company on device enrollment enrollment so there are four method which is uh, so the first is Apple uh, automated device enrollment we call AD previously uh, we call the Apple business manager or the Apple device enrollment program right so uh, uh, DEP right known as DEP so this is now they rename it is automated device enrollment second is for the Apple school manager there's for the schools and Apple configurator setup assistant with enrollment and an Apple calling it a direct enrollment so these two has actually uh, it's it's actually yeah it's manual touch so what is auto aut automated device and organization can purchase devices through any Apple automated device enrollment uh, authorized reseller or or the directly from Apple and and which actually will let you to deploy the enrollment profile over there to bring your devices management uh, a, through the Intune right user enrollment actually will give you the subset of for uh, the management option compared to the other enrollment method like automated device enrollment so user can user will have the choice of whether they they, have, they can select whether it's company owned or it's provided owned. Apple configuration as well um, the setup with the setup enrollment wipe the devices prepare and run the set and install the company portal for the new user direct enrollment doesn't wipe the devices enroll the devices with the predefined policy this method for the devices no user affinity so Apple configuration has two type of with with set up assistant enrollment where you need to wipe the devices and if you don't want to wipe the devices that's but it will be have uh, without user affinity okay so use the company portal on AD and Apple configuration devices so uh, uh, so what you have to do is uh, is you can manage the devices after user receive the devices uh, you need to uh, app production policy apply and you can configure some conditional access and email I will show you how how user can uh, enroll uh, uh, their devices and and uh, how you can set up the policy before enrolling the devices so let's get to the Intune portal uh, as, as I have uh, this is the Intune portal right so as soon as you hit the endpoint.microsoft.com you can land it with this space and uh, before that uh, in my previous video I have shown you uh, uh, I have shown you how how uh, y there are pre-requirement pre right to set up the company um, uh, company iOS devices so you uh, you can go to the Apple enrollment and you have to create the Apple push certificates so which I have already there right so now what you have to do you have to go to the devices sections and by platform since we are talking about Apple iOS click on Apple iOS and then then you have to you see three policies here right I this only three policy you need so you don't have to get confused first is compliance policy for any organizations you need to create the compliance policy so let's create one compliance policy for this one so by default if you create on click on create policy so you can create a global uh, anything I am just giving uh, information global iOS right COD it's for company compliance policy okay so you can just put this COD means it's company owned okay okay company own come okay and click on next 
and you have to choose you don't select uh, uh, all these information in the compliance to make sure so if you want to uh, select this require so uh, all devices as you enroll into uh, Intune uh, if the their, their devices will will is compliant then it's it's required to uh, to to email uh, to set up and push the email so it, this is actually uh, if a user has the email account on the devices the email account must be re removed to become a compliant let's go to the properties so you can set the minimum operating system so like minimum operating system uh, you can select uh, like whatever as per your policy like I'm selecting 15.6.0 maximum OS version so if any devices are running below this it will mark devices as a non-compliance uh, jailbroken of, of course um, all, all the organizations can um, actually uh, block jailbroken devices so jailbroken devices uh, this compliance check supported for iOS 18x so make sure you can enable this jailbroken devices like block right so if any devices is jailbroken it will block and then go to the system security of course the password is required for every organization so click on the password requirement and then uh, configure all this if you want to block the simple passcode of course everyone uh, you can set the minimum length like minimum you so 4 to 15 I will select 6 password required type you can select the alphanumeric or numeric I'm selecting alphanumeric uh, number of alphanumeric character you can configure one or two maximum minutes of screen lock before passwords I, I you can select one minute five minutes depend on when the screen lock okay and the password expiration date mostly uh, you say 90 days or 30 days whatever you like uh, number of previous password to so I am selecting 5 and the restricted app if you want to restrict any of the app you can like whatsapp just uh, whatsapp and you have to paste it app bundle ID as well I have shown in my uh, the previous video how you can find the bundle ID here how you can find the bundle ID here so I have made this video you can go and watch the video uh, 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 on my channel and you will see how you can find the bundle ID okay so this is the and you can uh, click on next right so I'm not adding bundle ID here just I am clicking on next and then you have to uh, specify the sequence of action on non-compliant devices if any devices are not compliant you, you have to select mark devices non-compliant as well immediately you can send an email to you and users select and after immediately or maybe you can select the message template as well if you want to notify um, uh, to the users you can select the I don't have any uh, template created but I will show you you can also send the push notifications like immediately or maybe after one days or two days select one or two or five days whatever and then you can remotely lock the non-compliant devices and retire the non so I'm selecting remotely lock the devices after two days and then retire the devices non-compliant devices after seven days okay send email user push notifications uh, and then these are the actually uh, action for non-compliant okay so okay let me delete this one and then select next and you can apply to all users and all devices so most people actually got confused about uh, when actually they have to assign this compliance policy to all user or all devices you can assign to a groups as well if you have AD groups I mean created either on premise or dynamic AD groups you can assign to the I am selecting all users so better to select all users and here you, you have give, give them the option to filter if you apply the filter you can exclude or include or do not apply the filter like right 
so if you want to apply this compliance policy only for the company owned devices you can apply the filter and select and if you don't want to apply or if you want to exclude bring your own devices just apply the filter that's it right so there are three options you can assign to all users or groups or all devices so and just create that so this is the compliance policy you need to create and then that's it that's it it's very simple and then you have to configure the configuration policy as well so like create new configuration create profile select the templates okay what what type of uh, configurations like you want to push the email you want to push device restrictions or device features anything suppose the email is the most important right email vpn and wi-fi right so i'm selecting email and you can put the global ios native email config profile the naming convention should be in the proper if you are configuring for the organization right so and you can put the outlook dot whatever the your outlook dot office 365.com right and the account name you can give it the any your organization name right popnet o365 right email account o365 email account okay attributes the here you can select the user principal name and email there are many options right you can use the same account name in smtp but better to select user principal name and email address from ad you can select the primary email address authentication method of course uh, if you have the certificate authority you can use that or or we can select the username and password right so it's depend on the your organization and how if you want to authenticate for email with the certificates or the username and password i am selecting username and password uh ssl of course it should be enabled uh, but you can have right so that all the communications with the email server will be in the secure manner o auth which is actually modern authentication so it should be enabled for by default because now uh, yeah, if you are using basic authentication which is not secure so i would recommend you to enable the o auth uh, two factor authentications exchange data sync you can select calendar email calend what you can select like email or all data i'm selecting all and then these are the configurations actually uh, vpn profile for per vpn no so you can select and just create and then you can assign to the ad groups if you have on premise or you can assign to all users and then click next and that's it very simple so i have created we have created a the email profile similarly like you can create the uh, uh, any any restrictions you want to apply any custom profiles any a uh, vpn profiles or wi-fi profile so you can just select this template and create this and the configuration so we have created compliance policy and configuration policy these two is actually it's mandatory for any organizations right and it has to be and then now you can go to the enrollment and then and then start enrolling your devices so i will show you how you can enroll your devices in next video so that uh, you will see how the flow actually will open till then thank you i hope i have uh, shown you how you can set up the compliance policy and configuration policy for ios devices till then thank you bye bye and keep watching this video so that you will get trained on the microsoft intune thank you have a good day